Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I save individual clip art to sell on places like Creative Market. This is also a really great way of exporting things. If, if you're wanting to upload to print on demand sites like Society6 or Redbubble. To get started, I have already opened up some clip art that I made for a class on Skillshare. If you're interested in it, I will leave a link in the description. So most likely if you are creating designs to sell on Creative Market, you're probably going to have an artboard that looks something like mine, where it's just a bunch of random motifs that work well together. All you need to do is click them individually. Um, as you can see in my layers panel, I already have all of mine grouped together and then go to File, Export. And because of these being specifically for clip art for projects for other people, it is best to save them as a PNG. That way there is no background. It's completely transparent, which will allow them to bring it in to whatever program they're using. So you also need to change the area right now it is the entire document. You want to change that to selection without background and export. Then it's best to go ahead and just make a new folder and save. All you have to do after that is to go around to each individual clip art and save them individually. So say this happy Valentine's Day, say you want to have this on a greeting card or a t-shirt on places like Redbubble and Society6, any of the other print on demand sites. So you go through the exact same process. So export, change selection without background. And you can see that size is, it's okay, but it's still fairly small. I'm going to change this to 2000 pixels and it will adjust the other size. And because in Affinity, at least the way that I created these, they are all vector, so it can resize. Because there are so many different products on the print on demand sites, you want to have a large image. That way you know that it will print well on any of the products that they have. And obviously you can adjust it on those sites if you need to. So you would just go through that exact same process. Now I'm going to show you what my folders look like usually when I am done with them. And this is pretty much for like if you want them on your website or if you want on Creative Market. So I have the cover photos so people can see exactly what it looks like. So a way to bring them in and then an overview of what comes in it. The zip folder. And in the folder itself, it's all the individual PNGs. And normally, I, although I didn't in this one, I usually will save my file along with it so I can easily go in and adjust anything if I need to. So I hope you have found this video useful. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.